The College Basketball Experience Boston College Eagles 2022 season preview episode is brought to you by WinBet. Bet $100 at WinBet. Get a $100 free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T to claim your free bet today. We're also brought to you by Run Your Pool. Yes, head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Survivor to get your free entry in in our NFL Survivor contest. First place gets $500 cash and a $250 gift card to the SGPN store. So do that thing today and let it ride. Hey, what's up, you degenerate gamblers? This is Bill Burr and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Welcome. Welcome to the College Basketball Experience Boston College Eagles 2022 season preview episode. Oh yeah, my name is Colby Swinging Dantermace Dan, aka Pick Don D. That's not a pick, this is a pick. He was raised in the land down under, where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. I smoke and I drink and um, I don't have stress and I'm healthy. Ho, 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 Yes, it is college basketball preseason time. Subscribe to the college basketball experience. Remember, also, we are on YouTube, so check us out at youtube.com slash the college experience. And remember, also, it's almost, it's college football season, too. Check out our preview on the Boston College Eagles. Phil Jerkovic, Zay Flowers, this team might be flying high uh, in 2022, but this is the basketball episode, so... It's easy to see a tide turn. And it is easy to see a tide turn. If you're looking through the history of Boston College hoops, I mean, this was, a, I think, a really good program at one point, but it was very easy. It's easy to see a tide turn. To see that uh, tide turn when Al Skinner left. Because Steve Donahue, Jim Christian, those two coaches, what, together, uh, solid, like, oh, what, 11 years of hoops without making the NCAA tournament? That's not going to get it done. When you consider Al Skinner, who was 15 and 16 in his final season there, but just the year before, uh, they were in the NCAA tournament. They were actually in the, in, the, in the NCAA tournament five out of six years before his firing. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, and you go back, this is a rich program, back to uh, the Jim O'Brien and, and Gary Williams days. I mean, where, where's my Dundee music here? Um but, uh, yeah, th- this is something. This is the Boston College Eagles from Gary Williams and Michael Adams, the former Washington Bullet. I remember them all the way to Dana Barrows, late 80s, right? Remember Dana Barrows? That dude could gun. Then you had the Bill Curley days. Oh, man. Uh, what was the, my guy's name, the small forward? Is it Adams? Mm, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. But you also had the Howard Isley era. Dante, Dante Abraham, maybe was it? Uh, I could be butchering that, but they they were a rich program for a minute there. They were really a rich program. Can they get back to it? They go out, they hire Earl Grant, which I think was an interesting hire. Earl Grant comes over from, first off, he played ball back at Georgia College, not with the Bulldogs, but Georgia College. He was an assistant at the Citadel and then Winthrop and then Wichita State. Uh, Wichita State had a really good program while he was there. Then he went to the Clemson Tigers for a few years, then College of Charleston for seven years. Um, Overall, Earl Grant, 140 and 109 overall. But look, year one in Boston, just 13 and 20. Now, I understand what he inherited. 13 and 20, to give you an idea, folks, they were 4 and 16 the year prior. All right? So, in a way, you could say he definitely improved from from, uh, the previous season. 
Can he keep that momentum going forward? That remains to be seen. That will be the question, I think, for this for this Eagles team this year. Uh, because you look at uh, what they got going on here. Well, first of all, let me just rattle off last year. Like I said, 13 and 26 and 14 in the ACC. Got to get better there. Uh, as you continue to build this thing, they were 17 and 16 ATS. So for us gamblers, uh, that average, but I mean, Hey, winning season, (laughs) um, you look at a year ago, they were at 299th in shooting the three. When you look back at that, you say, uh, that's not very good. Offensive rebounding 107th. 72nd in defensive rebound, 70th in free throw shooting, but pace, get this for pace, 294th in all the land. There's only like, what, 358 college basketball teams, folks. Uh, so pace could be a thing. Um, they haven't made the NCAA tournament since 2009. C- concerning. Uh this team, I do think it was a solid first year, though. With all that said, I think it's a solid first year for Earl Grant. Now, the bad news, uh, their big man, their big man, uh, James Carnick, 10 points a game a season ago. He graduated. He's gone. I want to say I saw him playing in, like, some some other league. Not the NBA, but I want to say I saw him playing in, like, I don't know, New Zealand maybe? I can't remember. But uh, surprised to see this one. Guard Brevin Galloway, who Grant had brought with him through from Charleston, he he came to Boston College last year. Now, he got injured in, I feel like, pretty early in the season, and then he was out for a while. He only averaged eight points a game, but I did think, you know, last year was kind of a crazy year for him. I thought him coming back would really help them. Uh, he's gone. He transferred out to Clemson, went back, went back home to South Carolina. So... They lose him. They also lost Justin Vanderbon, who transferred. This guy was deep on the bench just to point a game a season ago. Transferred to Lafayette. Same with forward Gianni Thompson, who transferred to UMass and, and Frank Martin. Uh, they also, I mean, Thompson only averaged a point a game, too. Um, guard Kanye Jones, who was young, only averaged two points a game, but he transferred to the Buffalo Bulls. So five guys out. I mean, one, one guy uh, graduated. Now here comes the incoming class. Uh, obviously, we know the transfer portal is such a big factor um, in in 2022. Uh, they brought in Mason Madsen from Cincinnati, four points a game, and I think I think he can be a solid reserve. Um, they went out and got a, and I'm, I hope I'm not butchering Taveka D2 uh, school. C.J. Penha, who uh, I think could be a really good get, 20 points per game, 10 boards. Now that's on the D2 level. How It's bad enough sometimes seeing the D2 jump to the D1 level, but especially a D2 jump to a playing a, a power five, you know, a power six, you know, conference school. How will that translate? Could that be a great get for them? Potentially. It really could. Um, at the forward spot, they got Prince Aligbe. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, too. Uh, he is their best recruit coming in from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Earl Grant getting all the way over there to Minnesota. Uh, number 122 in the country, and he's at the forward spot. Also, they got uh, 6'5 guard Donald Hand coming in from Virginia Beach. Uh, he was the number 128 recruit in the, in, in the land. So, look, two top 150 recruits for Earl Grant. I think that's fantastic. Uh, after that, they got Chaz Kelly coming in, uh, uh, 237th ranked recruit in the nation from Houston, Texas. And then a big man, Armani Mighty, coming in from Toronto, Canada. He wasn't ranked 6'10". Maybe maybe they find a diamond in the rough out there. Um so that's what's incoming. That's what's replacing the outgoing. And you got to wonder how this team will look this upcoming season. They got big news when Makai Ashton Langford got the uh, super senior eligibility and he's coming back. When he announced he was coming back to BC, uh, that was pretty substantial. I believe he caught an NIL deal too. So, um, He's back, but we're going to get to the projected starting five in a second. But first, I got to get us paid, folks. Uh, I want to tell you folks out there that 
the college basketball experience. Boston College Eagles 2022 season preview episodes brought to you by WinBet. Bet $100 at WinBet and get a $100 free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N to claim your free bet today. We're also brought to you by Run Your Pool. Yeah, head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Survivor to get your free entry in our NFL Survivor contest. It's free to enter, people. What are you doing? First place gets $500 cash and a $250 gift card to the SGPN store. Once again, what are you doing? All right, uh, hop in. It's free. What do you got to lose? Uh, We're also brought to you by Odds Trader. Odds Trader is a place to compare odds from all the major books. Uh, you can also compare the different sign-up codes and promo codes from sportsbook to sportsbook to get the best deal. The app also provides player statistics, key game stats, injury reports, projected game day weather for betters who make the most informed bets possible. Uh, it also has a bet tracker. One of the things I love, and you know here on the Sports Gambling Podcast and, and the College Basketball Experience, you know, we host the College Basketball Experience. We host the College Football Experience. You know, we have so many different platforms. We love sport. We're just sports junkies. Sometimes you have so much action going on within different sports. So, like, I, I'll, I'll call it, like, give me, like, a November, a random day in November, and I'll have, like, a couple college football bets going, a couple college basketball bets going. Oh, I got an uh, NFL game going on, right? I got, oh, there's an NHL game going on? Yeah, I'm taking the Boston Bruins. So, we, you know, <laughs> then you're you're mixing that in with uh, this year they even have the World Cup. So, I mean, the World Cup, the NBA, you got just uh, sports firing off. Uh, if there's ever a boxing match or a UFC match, it's just so what's great is they organize that for you. So go to oddstrader.com slash blue wire odds trader, the number one site for all your game day bets. We're also brought to you by Sleeper. Sleeper's the fastest growing fantasy platform today with millions of players. You probably already have a fantasy league on there. I know I do, but uh, they just passed 4 million different users. Uh, So pretty pretty fire what they're doing over there. And now they have this brand new over-under game, which is pretty fantastic. First, in any sport, you choose two or more players you like, and you pick the over or the under on their stat projection. And if you pick correctly, you can win anywhere from two times to 20 times the amount of money you put in. And with NFL season right around the corner, Sleeper is the first sports contest uh, built into the, into the fantasy experience. So uh, check us out right now on your mobile phone. Join our listener group at, sleeper, uh, at sleeper.com slash SGP and sleep will automatically match your first deposit up to $100. Once again, that's sleeper.com slash SGP, and you'll get a $100 match on your first deposit. Uh, we're also brought to you by Trade Coffee. Tra- Trade Coffee connects customers to the fa- to the freshest and best tasting coffee they've ever made at home by partnering with the country's best craft roasters. These are independent businesses from big cities and small towns. Trade customers are truly impactful for their for these independent roasters, often being the largest source of uh, new growth for them. And it's expert tasted. Get this, they have a team. What a team this is here. They they taste test thousands of coffee every day, where they keep 450 different kinds of coffee live ready to ship out every single day what a job uh and they have a human powered algorithm to find the coffee for you that you'll love uh i can't recommend it enough uh i know my brother got it he says it was fantastic as well uh right now trade is offering new subscribers a total of 30 dollars off your first order plus free shipping when you go to drinktrade.com slash sgp that's drinktrade.com slash sgp that's more than 40 cups of coffee for free people we're also brought to you by dave uh, no, not, uh, not Dave. Uh, who was my guy's name on the, on the Celtics? Man, I'm drawing a fucking blank. He coached the Hornets. Dave Rawlings, was it? I'm drawing a blank. Um, but anyway, we're brought to you by Dave. Dave's a, a cash banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. Because let's be honest, we've all been in a spot in life where maybe maybe you gambled too much. Maybe you went to Vegas, spent too much. Maybe you just went out drinking with the boys. All of a sudden, you, you realize, fuck, maybe you get stupid. You play credit card roulette or something. I, I've done that with buddies. And the next thing you know, you know, you're, you're, you're thinking, oh, credit card roulette, I'm not going to get hit with this $700 tab. Boom, you do. All you had was five drinks. You're paying $700, right? Well, all of a sudden, you realize that, man, I, I was going to use that money for rent or whatever, uh, and you need some cash in a, in a jam. Well, that's what Dave can do for you, all right? Because Dave's the banking app. that it gives you $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank. I don't know. Buy a wedding gift, catch up on bills. Uh, and, and I can tell you. 
the, here's here's the catch too. There's no interest. All right. There's not even a credit check needed. So if you destroyed your credit, like me and everyone else, at some point in our life, we have. Uh, they're not even going to dive into your history. Uh, so you can finally tackle those expenses without stressing you out with any hangups. So check out Dave. Millions of people have d- downloaded the the Dave app to get financial relief already. So download the Dave app from the App Store right now. That's D A V E. Sign up for an extra cash account. Get up to five hundred dollars instantly for terms and conditions. Go to Dave. Com slash legal instant transfer fees apply banking uh, banking provided by Evolve member of the FDIC. All right, we are back talking Boston College Eagles. Man, I mean, what a season! Uh, perhaps upon us. I know we're waiting for what the ACC schedule to come out. I know, I know this much. I know they're in the Paradise Jam preseason tournament going on in the Virgin Virgin Islands between November eighteenth and twenty first. And they open with George Mace and the Patriots, which will be a decent test. Kim English brought in some talent to Fairfax, Virginia. Um, the rest of the field, I think, uh, we got Belmont, Buffalo, Drake, Howard, Tarleton, Wyoming. Wyoming made the NCAA tournament last year. Buffalo's kept a decent program. Belmont's been been really good lately. They've kind of been a blue blood in the mid-major ranks. Drake uh, has had been up and down, but Missouri Valley basketball has been pretty fantastic. Howard, uh, you know, I think they're recruiting a, a little bit better. Tarleton State, they made the jump not that long ago, so that should probably be your weakest link there. But it's not out of the realm to think that BC could win this thing. I, I, I know that sounds crazy, because if you had a pecking order, you would probably say either Belmont or Wyoming at one and two. Uh, you, however you shake that, it shakes out. I'd probably put Wyoming at one, Belmont at two, uh, then you ask yourself, well, is Drake better than Boston College? Probably. I'd probably put Drake at three. I know Drake got hit in the portal a little bit, though. Um, then you go BC or Buffalo. Uh, then I think after that, you're at Howard and Tarleton. So, But I don't think there's a gigantic gap between BC and Wyoming. Now, it's, it's early in the year. I know BC lost a lot, but getting Makai Ashton Langford back is absolutely huge. 12 points a game, three assists from a season ago. They also have Jaden Zachary back. And and look, I, I think J- J- Jaden Zachary is a guy that could really have a good season this year. 10 points per game, shot 48% from three a year ago. The guard play will be pretty solid, I think. With with So I'm pro- the projected starting five that we're putting together here is Makai Ashton-Langford, Jaden Zachary, and then DeMar Langford, uh, the junior who averaged 11 points a game, five boards a game. The, the, so right there... I, I, you got together probably what I would say if especially if Zachary comes on like I think he can, you're probably going to have uh, your guards there putting up I'd say around forty points a game, forty points a game if if that if that can work out there. Uh, the big question is the front court. T.J. Bickerstaff, uh, six nine senior, seven point seven boards from a season ago. He's going to, I cannot emphasize this enough that Bickerstaff and the seven footer Quinton Post, uh, nine points, four, four boards a season ago. I think BC is going to go as their front court goes because I think the guard plays there. It's can the front court put, put this to put together some solid performances. Cause once you get into ACC play, when you're playing, I mean, we saw this too, not only with Duke's recruiting class coming in, but what, some of these other teams return with Baycott coming back to, to North Carolina. Yes, they, they lose Manic, but you know, the, the front courts in the ACC pretty, pretty fucking good. I think uh, this, this year we saw the ACC have a lot of success in the NCAA tournament a season ago. P- perhaps they were better than what we thought after the regular season. Um, so I will say that is probably their 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 key to the season right there is can the front court maybe some of these transfers if Penha can uh, can can project uh, you know as well or just play decently enough from I know Taveka your competition is just completely different um, and then to me it just maybe maybe that kid from Toronto I don't know there, it's going to be interesting to to see how the front court plays but. I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, you know, what would – I think this team's going to be better than last year. But the question is, is what is a good year? Like for a Boston College fan, what would a, a, a good season be? Obviously, you could say making the NCAA tournament. However, look, since what? Since you joined – that's another thing. That's another thing. Since you joined the ACC, 
Uh, which year did you join? I'm trying to quickly check out what year you came in the ACC. Yeah, so you made the NC. You came in in 0506. So you did get to the tournament twice within the ACC. But you go back and look when the, when you were in the Big East, you were getting to the NCAA tournament pretty uh, pretty often in, in the I'd say uh, in the 90s at least. So I think you got to ask yourself. What's realistic for us in the ACC? The NCAA tournaments every couple of years, or at least as, as as Grant builds this thing, you were you were thirteen and twenty a season ago. Could you somehow pull off a winning season? Uh, that you know, I don't have the whole schedule; it's not available yet. But I would say if you could flirt around five hundred, slightly over five hundred. Um, I think that would be the next big step for this program. Um, you were six and fourteen in ACC play. How about that? How about double digit wins in ACC play? You look around. I think Georgia Tech is kind of an unknown. That's a winnable team that you can beat. I think Pitt with Jeff Capel, they give them an extra year. That's a winnable game. Syracuse, you never know. I mean, obviously they have a leg up on Boston College, but they've been destroyed in the transfer portal lately. So you know. Could be a winnable game. Um, NC State's replacing a lot. Manny Bates, you know, went to went to Xavier. Some other guys left that team, so potential there. Um, Clemson, I think you could win that game. Uh, I think Clemson probably going to take a step back. So there are some wins out there. Obviously, North Carolina, Duke, uh, Virginia. You're probably not going to win those games. Even Virginia Tech, I don't think you're you're there yet. Um, but if you could pull an upset or two, maybe take down the Hokies or, or the Miami Hurricane or something. If you can, if you can get to ten wins in the ACC, I think that's a great year too. I don't think this team is going to be in the NCAA tournament, but uh, what I, I don't have odds for the conference yet. But plus six, plus six thousand. I know plus sixty, six hundred to one to uh, to to win it all, huh? Um, I don't know. I, I, I would say what I'm trying to before we get out of here, just think what could what's a good year here? I think five hundred or above. If you could be five hundred or above, um, you're probably still not gonna get in the NCAA tournament, even if you are that. But that to me was showing the growth. And then uh I, I would say from a statistical point of view, gotta improve uh, a lot of things. Free throw shooting was terrible last year, right? Can they become a better free throw shooting team? Can they they, they become a uh, a better three point shooting team? This team just was was pretty fucking terrible at the three point line last year. Um, pace, I think, but I, I think pace could be an overrated stat because you look at like UVA with Tony Bennett, they never have a you know their pace is all over the place, uh, but they they can win regardless. So that could be a little bit overrated, but. Uh, I don't know. I would say, uh, what, adjusted offense, 146th in the nation, adjusted defense, 120th. Can they improve there? But I think your real, your real key to the season is if, if Earl Grant can, can 500 or better. I think 500. If you, if you can tell me right now that, uh, you know, you're going to be 17 and 16 next year or 17 and 15 or something, um, and, and, te- and I don't know, what, 10 and, uh, 10 and 10 in the ACC or I don't know, something like that. 10 and 10, I would say in the ACC, then I think that's a great second year. And I think the momentum keeps, you know, will, will, will stay going in the right direction with Earl Grant. So, uh, I, I can't wait to watch it. I hope this preview helps some, obviously we don't have the odds yet on all this stuff, but, uh, I'm excited for BC basketball. I think they made a good hire here. Got to be patient. We'll see. I'm very excited to see how uh, the D2 transfer pens out with C.J. Penha, but also the guards here with Ashton Langford, Zachary, and Langford Jr. I'm really excited to see how they go. Front court, I think biggest question. You circle that. That's gonna. You're, you'll see how high the Eagles will fly uh, if the front court can uh, can can get some shit going. All right. All right, folks, uh, this is the College Basketball Experience. Subscribe. We're going to try to break down every single team in the land, and we're going to give you as much as we can. All right? And, uh, yeah, so subscribe. We, t- we, we handicap every single Division I basketball and football game on the College Basketball Experience and the College Football Experience to so subscribe and tell a friend. During the season, during the season, I am I'm breaking down games for you every single night. I am... I am uh, 
if you look last year, every single night of the season, it's a nightly show that I drop every night forecasting the games. I had a great track record, uh, ATS for the past five years that we've been doing this shit. But, uh, last year was the first, the first year that we did it every night. So, uh, you will have that coming what November 7th, the season tips. So subscribe to the college basketball experience. Tell a friend, check out the sports gambling podcast. They're already breaking down all 32 NFL teams, solo episode for every single team in the land. So if you're a Patriots fan, if you're, I don't know who else, jets, giants, bills, uh, check it out. Um, also, all of our feeds like I said college football experience uh, college basketball experience I even host the college baseball experience with Noah Beanick but also uh, all of our other feeds out there NHL gambling podcast those guys do great work NBA gambling podcast Celtics fans check out Terrell Furman Jr. and the NBA gambling podcast um, MLB gambling podcast it's going on right now right baseball season check it out they do a fantastic job moon off to, to, and Noah and all those guys do a great job on the MLB gambling podcast check out all that check out the sports gambling podcast check out the MMA gambling podcast I think you'll dig all that stuff uh, soccer gambling podcast with the World Cup right around the corner um, get the SGPN app it's free to download in the App Store and Google Play Store and the Discord channel is there's nothing better I think you know, for me, wherever I'm at in life, whether I'm traveling, that's a perfect example. If I'm like sitting at a, a hotel or uh, if I'm at the airport and you're just sitting there bored, you're at the airport bar, just is anyone else watching this game? Maybe you're at home. All right. For me, I got married and, uh, you know, my, my I don't see the guys as much. So I'm just at home. You know, wife's in the other room. I'm watching the game. I'm saying, oh my God, did you just see that that you know, bounce pass, that, 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 that dunk? I don't know. And, uh, you know, I'm in the Discord channel just saying, hey, and, and not only that, you're there to, to bet too. I mean, like, if you're just a regular fan, it's perfect because you can just bullshit with, with, with people watching the games. But also, a lot of great betting tips in there. So check out sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. All right, folks, this is the college basketball experience. I'm, I'm rooting for Earl Grant. Give me a 500 season. Give me a 500 season, all right? This is the college basketball experience, Boston College Eagle style. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Team speed for Christ's sake. You get- it's easy to see a tide turn. When we were winning conference titles and going to the final four, we were making a statement. I broke my back. By that. Back is broken. Like a, a vertebrae or, 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 or spinal. Get my limousine! Ride on 85! Get my Learjet! Woo! And take off! And then-